Hi, this is Ariane, and I'd like to welcome you to my little class on La Querelle de la Rose, the Quarrel of the Rose. Enjoy! The rose was highly symbolic in medieval French literature. Every woman was a rose. So around 1230, Guillaume de Lory wrote a cute little allegorical love poem, only about 4,000 lines long, in which his hero enters a garden and sees a beautiful bud, falls in love with it and wants to marry it. Unfortunately, he died before he could finish his little poem. So Jean de Meung finished his expanded version of Guillaume de Loris' work and released it with great fanfare, due largely to the effusive review offered by Jean de Montreuil, although he wasn't the only one who effusively wrote about it. However, the agreement and the gushing over this new work was not universal. You have Christine de Pisan, the first female writer, professional writer anyway, in, West, in the West, and Jean Gerson, a highly placed theologian and university man who thought it was just horrendous and the quarrel was on. It wasn't just that Christine and Gerson were disappointed in the way that Jean de Mang finished Loris's work. They didn't like any of the changes he made, and he made a lot of changes. Jean de Meung more than quadrupled the length of Le Roman de la Rose, added many symbolic speakers, gave significant numbers of new lines to the allegorical figures that Loris already had, and had all of these speakers counsel Amant at length about various subjects, including love, sexuality, and procreation. What could go wrong? At a time when everything he wrote had to be written out by hand and sent with a rider on horseback to whoever the recipient was, the quarrelers wrote over 20 documents in about two years, everything from letters and sermons to polemic tracts. Christine collected these and gave them to the Queen, bringing the issue to her attention. One of the biggest issues that Christine and the other anti-Hmong quarrelers wrote was that his text spoke poorly of women, used obscene expressions, and was in general harmful and useless. It would be worth reading the quarrel in full, however, since we don't have time for that here, I reimagined it as a text message conversation. Enjoy! If you haven't guessed it, Thing 
or shos was another one of those words that symbolized um, the same thing as a rose. Of course, the quarrel continued long after Christine de Pisan died of old age. Her role in the quarrel, however, has had a lasting effect right up until the present day. And her works, both about women and in general, are still of value today. I recommend any and all of them for reading. Thank you for taking my little class. I hope it inspired you to get to know Christine better.